Hello, my name is Dustin and today I'm going to show you our brand new animatic image to video feature which we have significantly improved in quality. We are now using one of the best AI video models on the market and now you have the chance to create very strong pre-visualizations for your idea. So let's get started. We're here in the storyboard view and you can see that I've got a nice consistent board and you can now make videos from your stills right here by clicking on the little camera icon in the top left of the screen. If you click on it, you have various options for generating your video. You can click directly on the generate video button, but you can also enter additional information in the generation and describe in more detail what you want to see in the video. You can also influence the camera movement by choosing exciting camera movements from a pre-selection. You can see small previews here so that you can get a feel for what the movement will look like. And if you now select the movement and then type in an additional description, you can simply click on generate video and this will be taken into account. As you can now see in the storyboard on the image, the video is currently being generated and an approximate time is displayed. As we are using a very high quality model here, this will take a few minutes. But what you can do now is simply generate your other videos. So you can work completely in parallel here and for example, just click on generate video without giving any further details on another still. Or you can just enter a camera movement like I'm doing here right now. Or you can just enter a custom description and then generate the video. And as you can see now, all the videos are rendered all at once. And attached to the small loading icon, you can see that the video is still being generated. So even if you leave the page, this is your indicator of a generating video. So we have waited briefly until everything has been generated and can now see the play button in the middle of the image in the storyboard view, which only appears for generated videos. So we can now simply click on it one by one. And here we see our video with the laughing protagonists, for example. We also play the other videos and uh, see here, for example, the camera movement in circles um, and especially that one here with uh, adding the cat is really looking cool. The cat is running in front of the building. We see the camera movement as well. So you now have all the videos played at once and all videos run in a loop by default and can be paused using the pause button at the top. Um, and you can also, of course, use the arrows to switch back to your original still image uh, at any time and then generate a new video for example if you don't like something. Yeah that's basically it and what the feature looks like in the storyboard view and now let's take a look at it in the animatic view. In the animatic view you can see your assets in a more larger format and at the bottom with a corresponding timeline. You can also use the buttons here to generate a video again um, and insert the custom descriptions and the camera movements here uh, as you've seen before. You can then see in the image and at the bottom of the timeline that the video is being generated. You can also click on a shot at the bottom of the timeline and adjust the length, so the ERT of the shot. If you change values here, for example, this will also change accordingly in the timeline. You can also switch through the various assets in the preview and select whether you want a still or video to be displayed in the animatic. This will then also change accordingly in your storyboard. And if you're happy with your selection, you can click on play and watch your animatic in its entirety. There are small loading black frames between the individual shots and videos, but these are of course not present in your final export. This way you can now view your project in its entirety and with the appropriate timings. And um, if you want to make any changes, you can do this as well. For example, we would like to see the cat here a little bit longer until the end. So we can just change that. 
You can also drag and drop shots, by the way, in your timeline. Just one quick note, if you are rendering a video, the maximum length of a video right now is at six seconds. So that means if in your timeline there is an ERT of a shot that is longer than six seconds, it will create a end frame, a still frame at the end of the video. So if you are happy with everything, just click on export at the top and export your animatic either as an MP4 file as it is, or you can also integrate the shot descriptions as text into the final video output. Another way is you can export as an XML file to further edit the project in another tool of your choice. So that's basically it. Our brand new animatic and image to video feature with uh, enhanced quality. And so now have fun storyboarding and animating your scenes and shots.